Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well on a Tuesday. Uh, today, I have a motivational quote for you from Zig Ziglar. People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. So stay motivated. And I'd like to say hello to you, Roxanne and London this morning. Hope you guys have a great morning together. Hello, Tina. How are you doing? Hey, Joy. Hope you're better. We'll hopefully see you sometime soon. Uh, hey, RJ. Hope you're doing well. Um, I got the stuff done you wanted done last night, and I still think it's great that you're doing the videos for our Better Life Summit. The first one looks great. I love the beginning and ends on it. It looks fantastic. Post-published work. Good morning, Jake. I hope you are doing well. Hi, Roxanne. How you doing? Hey, Steve Talk. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Jesse Talk. I hope you're doing well today too. And uh, thanks for your comments and uh, reactions to my uh, uh, videos each day. You guys are awesome. Thanks. So today's reading will continue from yesterday. Uh, about Colonel Sanders. How many times do you think Colonel Sanders heard no before getting the answer he wanted? He was refused 1,009 times before you heard his first yes. This is where we left off. Carry on to the next paragraph. If you looked at any of the most successful people in history, you will find this common thread. They would not be denied. They would they would not accept no. They would not allow anything to stop them from making their visions, their goal, a reality. Is that you? Do you just be persistent and consistent to get what you want in your goals in your life? Did you know that Walt Disney was turned down 302 times before he got financing for his dream of creating the happiest place on earth? All the bank... <laughs> He was crazy. He wasn't crazy. He was a visionary, and more important, he was committed to making that vision a reality. Today, millions of people have shared in the joy of Disney. Do you like Disney? I know I do. A world like no other. A world launched by the decision of one man. When I live in my current crummy apartment, washing my dishes in the bathtub... I had to keep reminding myself of those kinds of stories. I had to keep reminding myself that no problem is permanent, no problem affects my entire life. This too shall pass. If I continue to take massive, positive, constructive, constructive action, key. I keep thinking, even though my life looks terrible right now, there are many things to be thankful for, like the two friends I have or the fact that I have my all my senses or that I can breathe fresh air. I consistently remind myself to focus on what I want to focus on. Solutions instead of problems. Focus on the solutions, yes. And I remember that no problem affects my entire life, even though it may look like right now. So I decided I would no longer believe that my whole life was screwed up simply because I had a financial I had financial difficulties or emotional frustrations. I decided that there was nothing wrong with me, but that I was simply in lag time. In other words, I knew that if I were to continue nurturing the seeds I planted, continue doing the right things, I would make it out of this winter of my life and into spring when I would reap the rewards of <coughs> excuse me <coughs> pardon me years of <laughs> of seemingly fruitless efforts I was all I also decided that doing exactly the same things over and over and expecting different results was insane I had to try some new things and I had to keep on until I found the answers I needed my message to you is simple and in your heart you know it's true massive consistent action with pure persistence and a sense of flexibility in pursuing your goals will ultimately give you what you want but you must abandon any sense that there is no solution you must focus immediately on the actions you can take today even if they are small ones this makes sense doesn't it yes i do think so so why, do, why don't more people follow the advice of the Nike ad and just do it? 
The answer is that they've been shut down by fear of failure. But I've discovered something wonderful about the failure. That's lesson two. There are no failures. We'll pick, up, pick this up again tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for listening and watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.